بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أمير المؤمنين علي بن أبي طالب عليه السلام was the greatest personality after the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and his holy progeny and the existence of Amir al-Mu'mineen in Islam is essential as the existence of Harun in the life and the Ummah of Musa alayhi salam was essential as we read in Quran that Allah made Harun the supporter and the partner of Musa in conveying the message of Allah. The Prophet said that Ali from me is like Harun was to Musa. But there will be no prophet after me. Ali ibn Abi Talib was the best example of the practical Islam. Ali ibn Abi Talib was the best person who lived Islam and taught Islam to people after the prophet. And Ali ibn Abi Talib was in fact the safety of the future of Islam because as we see that after the prophets people go different directions but Ali ibn Abi Talib was the safeguard of Islam from going into different directions the deviation which many communities suffered after their prophets was also among Muslims but Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam and the holy progeny of the Prophet Ahlul Bayt were the guarantee that real Islam will remain intact the greatness of Ali ibn Abi Talib has no limits no limits as we read in Quran about his virtues the Sunni scholars, Ibn Asakir is a very well-known Sunni scholar. He has narrated from Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas narrated that 300 verses were revealed in Quran about the virtues of Ali ibn Abi Talib, alayhi salam. And in the Hadith, Ibn Hanbal, the famous Sunni scholar who is the Imam of Hanbali sect, he stated that there is no human being about whom authentic hadiths came from the Prophet praising him like Ali ibn Abi Talib. He was the maximum in the praise and the status according to Quran and according to the authentic hadiths. And Ali ibn Abi Talib's life is so great that all generations are getting benefited. Recently in 2002, the United Nations officially declared a declaration or a statement to all the leaders of Muslim countries to take lessons from the life and sayings of Amir al mumineen Ali ibn Abi Talib, who gave the human beings the best example of ruling and freedom and justice. Nahj al Balagha is a living example. Anyone can go and read Nahj al Balagha or even few pages from Nahjul Balagha and discover the greatness of Amir al mumineen and how the human beings in fact need to know Ali ibn Abi Talib and follow him to have a better life. Today 
majority of Muslims leave alone non-Muslims. Majority of Muslims are not aware of Nahjul Balagha and the sayings of Amir al-Mu'min. Of course, Nahjul Balagha, the book does not contain all the sayings of Amir al-Mu'min, no, but it contains part, part of his sayings compiled by a Sharif al-Radi. But every Muslim needs to know more about Ali ibn Abi Talib and his sayings. And the example of Nahj al-Balagha is available. No doubt, if Muslims know more about Amir al-Mu'mineen, they will avoid a lot of problems. At least they will be united under the pious leadership which Allah wanted and the Prophet wanted all Muslims to follow. Amir al-Mu'mineen has tributes which can never be counted by us. As no one from us can reach the full knowledge about Allah and his Prophet, we cannot reach the full knowledge about Ali ibn Abi Talib being the first successor of the Prophet. And the Hadith itself says, O oh Ali, the Prophet telling Ali, O oh Ali, no one knows Allah completely but only myself and you. And no one knows me completely but only Allah and you. And no one knows you completely but only Allah and myself. سلام الله عليه وصلوات الله عليه اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد